Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share a week in outfits just as it's been a while since I filmed one of these and they are honestly one of my favorite videos to film. I love kind of sharing with you what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. So today is Monday and I've had a bit of a work from home day. I did head into the city a little bit earlier but now um, I've then spent the rest of my day filming a video and I've currently got to go and do a bit of editing and things like that and then I'm going to be taking it easy. I'm really trying to kind of wind things down now uh, that my due date is sort of slowly coming up uh, just so that I can really be calm and rested and relaxed for when our baby decides to arrive. Uh, so accessories wise I am wearing my Majuri pearl drop earrings. I wear these all the time and I just I really love them. I just think they are so elegant and just any kind of earring like this I particularly enjoy wearing. My ring that I have on is from Fedoma Jewelry and I've had this for a while. It's probably something you've seen me wearing quite a lot. I love how it's got the little diamantes in there. And then on my wrist, on my other hand, I'm wearing my Missima bracelet that I got from the Black Friday sales. And my necklace, this has a similar detail to my bracelet. This is from Mirror Jewelry and I really really love this little pendant design. So yeah as you can see I have made a little bit of space behind me just so that I could film. Uh, for the rest of my outfit I'm wearing a red and white strap top and I know I'm wearing a lot of color and I actually red is one of my favorite colors to wear um, despite it being so bold and so loud I just feel like it really works with my complexion and my hair color I think it just really pops and it's just very flattering basically this is a linen t-shirt and it's from an Australian brand called Alessandra they sent it to me so kindly and it is honestly it's next level beautiful I actually think I'm gonna purchase it in the other colors it comes in it has this raw edged hem design uh, at the cuffs of the sleeves which I think is really nice and I love that dropped shoulder. It comes to about here on me so it would be perfect length if I wasn't pregnant right now uh, but for now it's perfect for just tucking into anything that I'm wearing that is high waisted and I love the oversized fit. I'm wearing a small I will leave all my sizing information down in the description box because uh, I know that might be helpful. Uh, the skirt that I've tucked into today is just my ASOS pencil skirt. This is one of the few maternity pieces that I've purchased. Despite being in my third trimester, I'm still trying to make the most of what I have. Uh, I really want to be conscientious about what I do add to my wardrobe and make sure it's something I'm going to wear a lot. So fewer, better is definitely my mantra. <laughs> and this has been amazing. Uh, it's honestly, it's one of the best maternity purchases that I made. I also got jeans and some shorts and this is probably my favorite thing that I got. It hugs the bump really nicely and it also gives you shape at the back as well which I think is good because when I wear a slip skirt I sort of lose a little bit of that as it sort of lies a bit more flat across my back. Then my shoes are my Vanelli two-tone pumps. Would it be a weekend outfits if I didn't have these shoes on? Probably not. Um, definitely feel like I need to invest in another pair just because these ones are getting a little bit well they're pretty battered but I also love the idea of potentially getting the all black ones so hang on bag <laughs> Let's not forget this. The bag that I'm using or have been using today is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the MM size and I purchased this to use as a baby bag. Now if you'd like to see kind of a review on this bag, what fits inside, maybe a comparison with the other tote bags that I've got in my wardrobe, let me know in the comment section below as I have gotten quite a few questions about it. But personally, overall, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, and it's so classic. It goes with everything. And the Damia Aben, I think, is pretty subtle. Like, it, it doesn't scream Louis Vuitton. So if you aren't into logos, it's a good alternative. So there you have it. That is my outfit of the day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Morning, guys. It is Tuesday today. It's actually a really, really beautiful day today. Yesterday was quite windy by comparison. So I've just got a very simple sundress on. I've been doing work. I also want to go to Sheridan, the outlet store today, because uh, they have an extra. They've got like 50% off plus an additional 40% off. So I want to get some new towels because we are in desperate need of some and I also want to see if they've got any of the cotton uh, cot sheets which if they do I might get one of those as well maybe like a blanket or something like that I'm gonna see what they have uh, but yeah aside from that 
just going to be working and taking it easy. Uh, outfit wise, let's get into that. <laughs> earrings. I am wearing my Missima hoop earrings. These are the ones that I bought as part of my Black Friday sale purchases. And now that I've had them for a while, I can share with you my feedback on them. So I absolutely love the way that they look. I think they are just big enough. They are a bit of a statement. They aren't too heavy. They don't feel like they're dragging my air down, which I really like. But I do have one complaint, and that is that the post that you put through your earlobe is so darn thick that I wince every single time I put these in. It's actually a little bit painful for me because the posts on all of my other earrings are a lot thinner. So that's just something to bear in mind. And uh, I remember when I first got them, I was trying to put them in, I was like, this won't fit. Uh, but yeah, I do really like the way that they look. I'm glad that I got them, but I think it's just going to be a bit of a process to kind of stretching out the hole that I have there. I'm not wearing any rings or any bracelets, but I do have on this Fedoma jewelry necklace. It's just a really simple chain with a little pearl uh, pendant. I really like Fedoma jewelry stuff. I've got a few pieces from them and I just think they're all really lovely quality. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, chances are you will have seen this dress quite a few times because I absolutely adore it. It's from a New Zealand brand called Marl and it's basically just a really simple tiered maxi dress. And one of the reasons why I decided to splurge on this was because well, I've got one from Matteau, which is essentially the same. It's a bit more expensive than this one. I think if price is affected, go for the Marl one. I think the quality of the cotton on the Marl one is actually nicer. And I will show you in detail the uh, fabric because it's got this beautiful kind of plush, uh, I guess it's almost like a ribbed cotton. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really easy. It would be good for nursing and also I can wear it now and after the pregnancy. And I would have worn this before anyway. So yeah, um, it's just really lovely. I do find, there you go, you can see the detail on the cotton, which I just think is so beautiful. Whereas the Matteau one is just a simple cotton poplin. This one has a little bit more detail to it. Um, one thing I will say though is that it is slightly sheer, so I have got little nipple covers that I would normally wear. For some reason, they weren't sticking properly today, so I ended up just wearing a little bandeau, which I don't think you can see, I think it slipped down. So I've got these nude bandos from Cotton On, which are fantastic. Maybe I can link those down below, but I find they're really good and they give a bit more support as well. Uh, you may have seen my bag is my Philip Lim Mini Pashley. This is the color, I think it was mushroom or beige. Unfortunately, it's an older color, but they do very similar ones every season. And then on my feet, I'm wearing my Sportscraft snake print sandals for comfort. So. Yeah, that's a look at my full outfit today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is Wednesday today, finally at the midpoint of the week. It is just before lunch, so I've just sort of been getting myself ready as I need to pop out and do some errands, including dropping off some press samples and things like that um, in the early afternoon. So I just sort of get myself sorted. I can have something to eat and then I can dash out the door. This morning I had my obstetrician appointment and it went really well. I'm really, really happy or my doctor is really happy with how the pregnancy is progressing. All seems to be running without a hitch, which is good. Um, outfit wise, I've just gone for a simple dress. I actually had to reshoot some content for a client. So I'm in my third outfit of the day because I was changing into what I wore for that. And then uh, now I've just put something on that is comfortable because it is quite warm. It's sunny out. Um, not going to be as hot as it will be tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be 37 degrees, which I'm not really looking forward to. Uh, <laughs> uh, jewelry wise, I am wearing these really, really lovely little huggy earrings from Anya High. These are one of my favorite pairs of earrings at the moment. And one of the things I wish I could have a second earring or a second piercing here because these would look so beautiful stacked up with another earring next to it, something a bit longer. The necklace that I'm wearing, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this because it is such a fine chain. That actually used to belong to mum. Uh, and I was looking for my Majuri diamond necklace and I can't find it. So I'm not sure where I've put it, but baby brain is such a thing. And <laughs> I seriously, I forget. My short term memory is just shot at the moment. Uh, then the bracelet I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Missima 
chain bracelet I bought in the Black Friday sales and also an older bracelet from Aurelia which unfortunately is no longer available but I will try and find something similar and then yeah I've just gone for a really simple white dress quite similar I suppose to yesterday this one's just got a slightly different silhouette this dress is from Faro and I bought it from Need Supply I actually bought it as part of the sales and I got it for such a good price and if it's still available uh, this is such a beautiful summer dress so so it has this smocked detail up the top which is perfect I've gone up two cup sizes and it still fits me really well I'm wearing the small by the way uh, and I love the adjustable uh, straps as well on the shoulder which is really useful and then the embroidery anglais with the scalloped hemline I just think it's very pretty and I feel fortunate that it still fits me I know I won't be able to wear this to full term so I'm making the most of it while it still fits then to kind of define what is currently the smallest part of my waist. I'm wearing this very, very old patent belt. This is from Karen Walker and I got this, gosh, I must have been, how old will I have been? 20? I've had it for over 10 years basically, <laughs> but it is gorgeous. Um, I really wish that Karen still did a lot of her leather accessories because I feel like they're just beautiful. Then on my feet, I'm wearing my Saint Laurent New Pied sandals, which I am absolutely loving. I just think they are such a stunning shoe. I love the milky color of them and they are pretty comfortable. I mean, I have had to break them in a little bit considering that they're patent, which I think is normal with patent shoes, but they're not too tight. I'm really glad that I sized up to the 41 because the 40 was much more narrow across the foot. So if you do have wide feet like me, that is a really good tip if you are thinking about investing in these shoes. But I have found some really good dupes in a similar color to this, which I'm going to leave linked in the description box as well. Then my bag of the day is just my Philip Lim Pashley again. So there you have it. That is a look at my full outfit today. I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's Thursday today and my gosh is it hot already. I've been in the city running some errands. I'm trying to kind of get all of those last bits done before the baby comes. Uh, but yeah, it's so hot. It is incredibly smoky as well. I just checked and it's currently 36 degrees and it's not even midday. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be turning on the air con as soon as I finish filming this clip and sitting in the lounge to do all my work on my laptop. Um, but yeah, uh, now I'm home, I'm gonna make myself some lunch as well, I think, uh, but I thought I would just run you through my outfit. So obviously I've tied my hair up in a very low bun just because I find when it is super hot, I just want my hair off my shoulders. <laughs> and this is the easiest way. I don't really do too much with my hair, really, as you guys know. Um, the earrings, I actually just purchased these while I was in the city running errands. I dropped by a shop called Fade Store, which I had visited um, early in December and I fell in love with these earrings and I thought while I was there picking up a gift, if they had them, I might get them as a treat for myself. And they're from, from a small Australian brand called Arms of Eve. And I just love the little natural freshwater, fresh water pearl. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's my earrings. I'm not really wearing much other jewelry aside from this little signet ring from Chupi, which I actually think might be sold out. If it is, I will link an alternative um, on their website down below. Then as you can see, I'm wearing color again. I know, who am I and what have I done with Jamie Lee? <laughs> just kidding, I, like I said at the start of the week, I really, really enjoy wearing the color red. I just think it is so vibrant and fun and really works with my skin tone, especially when I have a tan, although with the smoke, I'm not really spending any time outside. To be fair, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a fake tan, I think, this summer. My tank top is from Glassens, and this is just a cropped tank. Again, I actually tried to find this online, and I don't know that it is available on their website, but they do have similar ones, and I'm really sorry, wait a minute. Let's see, is that better? Uh, it has this snap closure down the front, which I really like, and it's very sort of fitted to the body. And being a scoop neck, I also love that it just exposes a little bit more of my chest because most of my tanks tend to have a higher neckline. The skirt you would have seen in a bit of the sort of spring summer content I put out in the middle of the year for my Northern Hemisphere friends. This is from Faithful, the brand. And actually, I think that it may still be available but on sale. I'm wearing this in a small, I think, 
and it thankfully still fits my bump although I will say there is a little bit less fabric covering my uh, hip area than there would be if I didn't have uh, a belly to cover <laughs> but yeah it's just really nice and floaty and uh, I thought it would be good for the heat wave today my sandals are from Jo Mercer and I've had these for a couple of years now so sadly I don't believe they are available anymore but by far do a really similar pair which have a low heel and they're on sale as well. So I'm going to link those ones down below as an alternative and maybe some sandals I like from the Jo Mercer website. But I just wanted some black sandals to match my top. Then my bag, because I had to carry things, I went for my Louis Vuitton Damia Aben Neverfull in the MM size. So yeah, that was a look at my outfit today. So it's now Friday, the end of the week. I've just been filming a video, so rearranged the entire bedroom as usual. Uh, I'm actually about to head out for lunch, meet up with one of my girlfriends, because I haven't seen her in a while, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. It should be lovely. Uh, and yeah, then I'm gonna come back, probably take it easy this afternoon, and might have an early mark, which would be nice. Um, oh, I am wearing a red lip, which is, uh, it's from Flower Beauty, and it's the shade Poppy Pout. And it's one of the matte lipsticks. It's really comfortable to wear, actually. And it's just a really nice true red, maybe a little bit of an orange tone. Uh, Earrings-wise, I am wearing my uh, Arms of Eve earrings again. And you know what? It occurred to me when I got home that I basically have earrings that look like this already from Majuri, which I absolutely adore. But these ones have more of a rounded hoop and slightly smaller pearls. So... Either way, I'm going to wear both of them. I really, really love this style. It's something that I've been wearing for months, so I'm not too fussed about it. It's a bit of a uniform, and it is nice to have a little bit of an alternative. The necklace that I am wearing has just hidden itself in the collar of my dress. It is my Muru Jewelry necklace. So thankfully today, it is not as hot as it was yesterday. Yesterday ended up being 40 degrees, which is just roasting and it honestly just makes me feel so much for anyone who's been affected by the bushfires here in Australia whether you're in um, New South Wales, Queensland or Victoria I do hope that you and your family are keeping safe um, I'm just praying for rain really <laughs> I think we all are uh, we desperately need it here in Australia um, so today it's 27 which is much more palatable uh, which is good <laughs> always happy for a bit of cooler weather uh, so I've just gone for a little sundress, a really easy one. This is from Suzanne and it's in a really lovely kind of lightweight linen mix and it has uh, an animal print on it which I really liked. I love the neutral colour and I just thought this would be a really good one for wearing both now and then after pregnancy as well, maybe when I'm not nursing or something like that. It has this tie at the waist too which really nicely sits above the top of my bump and yeah it just has this very sweet sort of flippy hem. On my feet, I'm wearing my Frankie Four sandals. Um, I can't remember the style. I think maybe they're called the Jane. These are so comfortable. It's like walking on clouds. I don't know whether you can see that, but there is arch support there, which is really lovely. It's so nice and cushioned, which was something I was looking for in a summer sandal. And yeah, just tan is, I think, really flattering. Then my bag is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. So that is a look at my full outfit of the day. I'm gonna sign this video off here um, just because honestly my outfits on the weekend pretty much the same. It's either a skirt and a little t-shirt or a tank or a really easy dress to throw on. Um, I hope that you did enjoy this video nonetheless and I would love to know what your favorite outfit was out of the five that I shared this week. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening or your day and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.